<laughs> I know what you're thinking, Craig, what are you doing with a 1920s Russian peasant on the show? <laughs> no, everyone, that's a television joke writer. <laughs> that's what they look like. Let's go over and see how it's done. You go first. <laughs> Why, if it isn't Joe Strazzulo. <laughs> you know Joe, don't you? Yeah, our old pal Joe, one oh, of the writers Joe here. Yeah. Joe, you know Joe, don't you? Okay, Joe is Joe's one of the writers on the show. We have writers. <laughs> and Joe's written a joke for us to do tonight. Yeah, it's going to be a great one. I think so. What is the, what is the joke again, Joe? <clears throat> I think that's uh, something like... Uh, Rob Schneider's been fired by State Farm Insurance for his anti-vaccination views. Oh, yes. Uh, you can still see him this summer in the film Deuce Bigelow Contracts Polio. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a winner. <laughs> tell you what, we'll, put it in the, we'll put it in the monologue, and if the audience enjoys it, Bonus. And if the audience doesn't like it... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I think it's a, it's a good joke, isn't it? It's a great joke. Rob Schneider, it's got polio. That's hilarious. <laughs> People oh. love a good polio joke. I'm, I'm still trying to they find your voice. That stuff. He's trying to find my voice. How long have you worked on this show, Joe? Ten years. Ten years. <laughs> How long have I worked on this show, Joe? Ten years. Ten years. <laughs> you actually were here before me, didn't you? work for Kilborn? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't find his voice either. Well, I think he had a bit of trouble with that too, to be honest. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go pack up my things? No, 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 you're welcome here. But uh, you might want to try on a horse costume. <laughs> <laughs> now, Joe Strazzolo, one of the geniuses behind 10 great beers. We'll be right back. Sponsored by Unison Nighttime Sleep Aid. A stressful day deserves a restful night. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. It was very believable, wasn't it? Sure, yeah. I, sure. I, you know, I heard the warm-up comedian, Bob, you know, Bob the warm-up comedian. Well, his name's Bob, but... He's not a comedian. He's not a comedian, not, no. no. He's not, he's not. He's the kind of guy that warms you up. Does he have, Bob ever warm you up? Oh, many times, yeah, just over there. <laughs> just over there, yeah, behind that. I heard him talking before. Has Bob ever given you a 10? Because the audience, you know, always says, give me a 10. Has Bob ever given you... He gave you me a 9 once. It okay, was great. yeah. It was great. So anyway, I heard him before I came out and he said, oh, blow, blow him away, uh, make him bob like a dinghy on stormy water. That's right, that's right. I'm like, I don't want you to bob my dinghy. <laughs> bob ever uh, made your dinghy float like in stormy water? Many times, many times. <laughs> We're talking about sex. <laughs> no. No. No, sorry, man. Sorry. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we were. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we were. We were. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Oh, it's a great day for America, everybody. It is. It is. Of course, today is National Comic Book Day. I'm very excited to celebrate. I slipped in in my Boy Wonder shorty shorts, my yellow cape. <laughs> then I heard it was Comic Book Day. <laughs> How will you celebrate Comic Book Day, well, Jeff? I'll, uh, I'll be hooking up with a couple of X-Men that I found on Santa Monica Boulevard. So. Oh, X-Men. X-Men. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Do you hear that uh, Bill Clinton may have accidentally revealed the gender of Chelsea Clinton's baby on TV? I am not surprised. Bill has a history of letting big things slip out. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> How'd that get there? <laughs> Bobbing around like a dinghy on a storm. <laughs> That's nice, yeah. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mess with your thumb. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Tonight, uh, of course, was the season premiere of Grey's Anatomy. That show's been on the air since 2005, just like this show. At least one of us knows when to quit. Also... <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> I like the Grey's Anatomy. That's when the uh, good-looking doctors look at each other over someone who's on an operating table and they play Coldplay music. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> you got any music you can play? It doesn't have to be Coldplay. You can't afford that. But it's something... You know, Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on! That's awful! Hell, man. What's wrong with these people? I know. It's big. We can't... Let's try it again. That's Game of Thrones. Awful. Is there anybody in there tonight? Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, uh, tonight is also the premiere of a new ABC show, How to Get Away with Murder. I think we figured that out years ago, didn't we, Jeff? Yeah. 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 Uh, do you hear uh, Rob Schneider, the comedian Rob Schneider, uh, Schneider has been... Uh, Schneider, Schneider or Schneider? Schneider. Schneider. Uh, Schneider. He's been fired as a spokesman for State Farm Insurance because of his beliefs against vaccinations. Apparently, he's been very vocal opponent of vaccinations. But don't worry, you can still see him in his new movie, Deuce Bigelow Contracts Polio. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait for that. Good stuff. See what Good I did? Stuff. Yeah, you See what I did? That was a joke. Yeah, it was a joke. It was a joke, was man. The At the expense of someone who's got a belief. <laughs> That's what we do here. <laughs> I'm not really feeling it tonight, are you? No, um, you know, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know, I think the audience is judging me. <laughs> well, you know, hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, Friday we'll have someone... Well, Friday I'm on for a better audience, but tonight yeah. I'm on. Tonight, tonight terrible. I tell you, I tell you, I'm, uh, I'm not one to judge back, but uh, there's a couple of girls at the end of Lesbian Row there wearing white pants, and it's way after yeah. uh, the time for wearing white pants. <laughs> Full paw, ladies, full that, paw. It's put me off the whole time. I try to come out and do my job, but I come out here and I go, Oh, no! How am I meant to work under these conditions? You were instructed not to wear white pants Don't, in the audience. No, well, paw. you can wear white pants, but just in the, the you, I mean, after... You know, the Memorial Day yeah, Liberty yeah, thing. Sure, I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter. You don't even know. It's the summer. You can wear white... What colour pants are you wearing? None. So you're wearing flesh-colored pants? Yeah, bone-colored pants, yeah. Bone-colored pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dirty... You got a dirty laugh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got quite a creepy laugh. <laughs> yeah, let's hear yours. Yeah. All right, you want me to hear a creepy yeah, yeah, laugh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 What's your laugh like? <laughs> that doesn't look like you're laughing. It's not a real horse. Knock it off. <laughs> they, they, they awed that he was looking at his genitalia? Yeah, yeah. What is the hell? I don't know. I think they, they made up something in their mind. Strange. Are you looking at your genitalia? Yeah. Oh. 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 Let's see if I... Oh. oh. I, I, I can't bend forward. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, well, I don't want to do any more. I feel that that uh, Deuce Bigelow joke was enough. No, uh, yeah. no, yeah, no, yeah. It wasn't a great joke in the first place. I didn't want to do it. I don't know why I did it. You know, I was just sitting there, you know, waiting for somebody to do it. I did it. 
boy, that sounds like every sexual encounter I've ever had. <laughs> no, no, many times I wanted to have sex with the person I had sex with. Mostly me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about self, little self-massage, yeah, little... I don't want to get too graphic. Well, a long time. That's not really graphic. There, 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 there's kids watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You laughing or doing something weird? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, commercial break? Yeah. All right. Congratulations. You made it through the monologue. Reward yourself with a pint of ice cream and a little self massage. Yeah. Well, you know when Joe was on at the beginning of the show yeah. and we shamed him for yeah. writing a joke? It was good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why don't we, between now and when the show finishes, bring on people that we've enjoyed working with for the past ten years and shame them? That's perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. Every night we'll pick somebody new, bring them on and shame them. Yeah, this is like the, like the Roman Colosseum of late night talk shows. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. Who who should we who should we get out next? Who who should we get out next? Oh, I don't know. Maybe someone who's a racist. <laughs> well, there it is. Uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who enjoys having his dinghy bobbed. <laughs> you show me a man that doesn't enjoy having his dinghy bobbed. And I'll show you a man that's given up on life. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight's tweets and emails are brought to you by... Horse. Horse. Jive Horse. Foxy Horse. Loving by day, pimping by night. Knocking out suckers with dynamite. He's one man mustache. Shut the front door. Horse. 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 Yeah. This is from uh, this is from Dustin in Huntington Beach in California. Are you uh, Jake is Dustin Hoffman? Dustin Hoffman, yeah, yeah could it be. might be. Let's see if Did he's he on call, the phone. Dustin Hoffman might call him. He might. Well, he might. Okay. Hello. Yeah, hey, it's D Dustin Hoffman. It's Dustin Hoffman. I know. Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> Is it? Did you Dustin, send an email? Dustin Hoffman, I sent an email. Okay, I'll, I'll read it out. Okay, read my email. Read my email. Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> or click. I'm still here. There's been a lot of flies in the studio. I mean, there was the Jay Leno fly. <laughs> no, they're pretty good. <laughs> then that was replaced by a fly that appeals to a younger demographic. The, the Jimmy Fallon fly. Jimmy Fallon fly. Oh, wow, look at me. Cool, I'm a fly. So cool, awesome, cool. Whoa, look at me, I got wings. That's great. Whoa. No, you can't kill me. Whoa, whoa, awesome. <laughs> and then there was the... The Craig Ferguson fly. Oh, look at me. Ooh, Shrek, uh, farty donkey. Ooh, it's a great day for... Ooh, there I go. And then what I was thinking is maybe there's a Dustin Hoffman fly. The Dustin Hoffman fly. Right. I, I am a fly, Dustin Hoffman. Uh, I'm a fly. Uh, definitely fly, definitely fly. Uh, yeah, no, definitely fly. Wow. Wow. That's what I was trying Dustin to get. Dustin Hoffman fly, yeah. That's what I was trying to get. Good, good. All right. Please. Dustin in Huntington Beach, California says, Craig, how much cocaine did you do and how has it affected your career? A lot, not much. Yeah. A lot, a lot. Yeah. Uh, still doing it. No, I'm still no, here. No, 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 me, no, me. no, I'm doing no, it. no, absolutely I not. No, no, uh, no, I don't. I don't. No, I don't. don't. You'd know. Don't want, want. This is me on nothing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> this is from Avery in Temecula, California. Ever been there? Avery, yeah, many times. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, Avery says, Craig, I've been to your show three times, and all three times I sat next to someone from Russia. What's going on? What? <laughs> Stop bringing Russian people to the show. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> this is from Michael in uh, Brigantine in New Jersey, who says, Craig, uh, I'm sorry to bother you, but I figured uh, you might have a great hangover remedy idea. 
Not really. This will surprise you. I was drunk. I got drunk in 1978 and sobered up 1992. And in between, didn't really get much of a hangover because in order to get a hangover, you have to stop drinking. Right. And I didn't. I got a bit of a hangover in 1992, but um, it wore off. Yeah, so, so really, just keep drinking, I think, is what you're... I you're thought, I'm not for. advocating You're not advocating it, it but you're saying... <laughs> Oh, the wind. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, uh, that's all the time we have for... Oh, hello. Uh, hello? Oh, hi, it's... Uh, oh, God. Hi, hi. <laughs> hello? Yeah, you doing? Ah, Alan. Yeah. <laughs> hello? We were right behind Beautiful woman, very beautiful woman. Oh, and she smells oh. wonderful. Oh, she smells great, and she's lovely, and she's successful, and she can sing, and she can act, and she's a TV personality, and she's. <gasps> <gasps> Wait, what? What the hell is she doing here? I don't know. <laughs> she's kind. She's kind. She's kind. Charitable. She's kind, Charitable. so she goes to you know underprivileged places right. and helps. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she is uh, currently hosting America's Got Talent live this weekend at Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas. Please welcome my bestie friend, Mel B, everybody. Fantastic. You had a haircut, I can see it. And I got rid of all my hair. It looks great. I'm in two minds still. Oh, no, it looks fantastic. You, you, it's like sexy spice. Look at that. No. Yeah. I feel like a bit of a soccer mum. Okay. <laughs> you know I mean? I'm used to like lots of it everywhere. Well, no, it's, it looks great. It really does. I, I mean, when I saw I saw you last week. Yeah, for Yeah, and it was all there. And then you said you were going away. Were you going away to the hairdresser? <laughs> Yeah, I was. I did it. Yeah, Finally, it looked, I think it, it's really, really nice. Really, it is. Yeah, but now I don't believe you because you've said it way too much now. <laughs> you know, I mean, when somebody goes, no, honestly, really, really nice. And you're thinking, no. I'm just trying to not talk about your breasts, that's all. <laughs> well, they are there. Oh, they're nice too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. Um... So, um, America's Got Talent in Las Vegas, eh? Yeah, I'm hosting the whole event. Didn't get a word of that. Didn't get a word of that. <laughs> didn't understand it. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I love Vegas. I used to, I used to actually really? live in Vegas, yeah. Do you have a gambling problem? No, I don't actually gamble. I'm crap at it. I don't gamble at all. No. No, when I go to Vegas, I do something else. What do you do? Well, I suppose you could call it a type of gambling. <laughs> oh, you go to ladies' bars? No! I do not go to ladies' bars. Do you, have you ever gone to a gentleman's bar? Of course I have with my really? husband, yeah. Uh, what? So, you know, where there's ladies on poles and stuff. No, no, I mean a gentleman's bar where gentlemen are doing the thunder from down under and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, I went and saw that once, but that's not my flavour. <laughs> Did you just come out? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that look of going to watch oh, right, that and they're right. all oily and they touch you. You don't know where they've been. I know, I know. <laughs> like, not... Oh, hang on, I'm getting hot now. Don't say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so what happens when your America's Got Talent? You host it. Is it a competition then or is it just people who have... No, oh, it's the top six that made it to the top six. Oh. They get to perform live and obviously the winner, right. Matt Franco, who I called it from day one. He was going to win it. Yeah, you're, you're good at that. I'm yeah, good yeah. at that. Yeah. What about, uh, 
You do America's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent, uh, no, uh, Who's Your Boss? What is it called again? Simon Cowell. Yeah, yeah. But, X Factor in the UK. Uh, X Factor in the UK, America's Got Talent, and what's the Australian one? Voice Kids. Voice My Dingo. <laughs> <laughs> so, so who is the most talented people, America, Australia, or uh, Britain? Well, I think I'd have to say America, because it's a varied amount of talent. It's not just singers. I mean, there's talent everywhere here. What kind of talent is going to work, though, other than singing? Like, you know, with all respect to jugglers, you know, if a juggler <laughs> comes out and wins the best juggler, what's well, going to happen? Like, let's go see that guy for an hour and a half? Well, look, I mean, the Blue Man Group have their show in Vegas. And yeah, that's Blue true. people banging drums with paint. Who would have thought that would work? <laughs> You know, I went to see that downtown New York in 1992 or 3, I saw it, and it was fantastic then. It's been going that long? Yeah, it's been going for ages. Wow. For ages. I mean, I was just sober. And I... Uh, wow. And that's what you go and see? Well, that was a weird <laughs> thing, because I just got sober, and I went to see this show, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I don't know if I got sober at all. <laughs> It's a great show. Do you like that it show? Is, I do. Yeah, yeah. And I'm taking the kids down with me. Oh, that's Vegas. nice. Yeah. Well, where, where will you take them then? Where do you take them? To, they play craps and stuff. No, they go. We go. We go. We go to the pool and we go for dinner. Oh, that's nice. Like the family nice. thing. You lived in Vegas for a while, right? I did. I had my show at Planet Hollywood. Oh, right. My kids went to school there. It's actually quite a nice life because I like the heat and it's really hot. Well, it's hot. hot. Yeah, yeah. No, it's very hot. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and what about the celebrity name game? You were on that. I was so I can at that game. <laughs> I have to apologize. It sounds, it to sounds you. like something else. Uh, you, no, no, it's it's her accent. I was not good. What did I get? One point. You were great at it. You were the no. best. You, I tell you, when you were on that show, I was like, wow. But that was just watching you giving the clues. Other than that. <laughs> No, oh, it, very good. no, you did great. It was okay. No, it's just a stupid game to play on TV. It's not like, you but know... You don't want to be that crap because you have to help them win. Right. Well, they won. Didn't somebody win when you were there? Not when, not my, when I was doing it. No. Really? <laughs> well, you're right then. You were crap at it. But... Because it's not that hard. I know, but when you're put on the spot and you have to give clues and you have to make things make sense, I'm not I very know. good at that. No, me neither. You see the monologue? Good Lord. <laughs> you're wearing a lot of glittery tonight. It's I very know, nice. I done. You're, is that your real nail with all them jewels on it? Well, I own them. <laughs> <laughs> I like the rig that you've got going on. I like your ring and I like the watch. It's a man's watch. That's yeah, a good look. Yeah, it's a Daytona thing. Yeah. I don't really wear jewellery apart from that and this. These are the love bracelets that my husband got me. Oh, well, that's nice. And you can never take them off, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, because when you go through the airport, you beep. <laughs> Always. Right. Well, don't they say, it's me bracelets. And that's and then what they... I sound like. A little bit. <laughs> Damn a little bit. it. You sound a little... Jeff, uh, can you do... Yeah, it's me bracelets. <laughs> I'm sorry for beeping, it's my bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad accent. I just, uh, it sounds very manly. You know what? Well, not on you, it doesn't. But, um, <laughs> you know what it sounds like? Do you ever watch Game of Thrones? No. Because people in Game of Thrones talk with your accent if they're from north of the wall. Yeah. They talk like that. They talk like, oh, I, ow. <laughs> Like Jon Snow, Jon Snow, not and it's Game of Thrones. That sounds awful. No, it's great. It's a good show. You'd like it. You let the kids see it. They'd love it too. They would. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, it's a joke. It's a joke. What about a Spice Girls reunion? Any chance of that? Well, unfortunately, I'm the one that always says yes, it's going to happen, and the other four are like, well, when are you going to tell us? I'm like always championing it along. Can you but I don't imagine think... though, how huge that would be? That'd be huge. I would love it. That'd I'd be love fantastic. It for. And you could all dance around in your little outfits. <laughs> Maybe I could put a little outfit on and come and introduce you. <laughs> well, we had fun at the Olympics performing together. Yeah, that was great. That, that was, that was a great fun. opening ceremony, that, that Olympics thing. <laughs> it was good to see you there with your big boots on and stuff. <laughs> Do I sound creepy right now? A little yeah, bit? Little yeah, a little bit. bit. <laughs> well, business as usual. We have to take a commercial break. Okay. I said we have to take a commercial oh break. Oh, my God. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back. We'll be right back.
Michael. Oh, we're back. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Mel B. We were just sitting quietly during the commercial break, not talking to each other. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. That's it. Sort of kind. Well, no, wait, stay, stay. Be serious. Well, or walk around a little bit and then sit down. I don't know. Are you in, are you in therapy at all by any chance? I have had therapy. I, I like it. I enjoy it too. That's why I'm getting my paper. Yeah. Let's, I'll be the therapist and okay. you be you. All right. All right. So will there be a Spice Girls reunion? <laughs> <laughs> I want there to be, but no, there isn't. Not yet. Not yet. But you, well, you, come on, let's. Well, what else? What then? Uh, well, why are you, you afraid of mice? <laughs> I'm not. Why are you not afraid of mice? <laughs> but usually in therapy, I just bitch and moan about my husband. Why? Isn't that what oh, does? this is fine. <laughs> Why? What's wrong? Well, like silly things, like he likes to sleep with the TV on. Right. I don't. It keeps me awake. Right. So there's a debate every night. And who wins? Well, he ends up winning because then he ends up putting something on that I actually want to watch. <laughs> and then I'm like. When you say put something on, you mean... TV. On, on TV, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, cos I think the way out of your problem is that he turns the TV off and entertains you himself with some form of performance. Oh, he does that most oh, okay. nights. <laughs> no, I don't mean that. I don't mean that. I mean, what like, do you a, mean? It, like a little one-man play or something. Well, it is. <laughs> 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 very fun. We are out of time, though. Do you want some candy or something? No, uh, what kind of chocolate is it? Is it Cadbury's? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's a Late Late Show chocolate. It's the cheapest, probably, you can get. <laughs> My kids might like that. Well, well, you can give it to them, then. Uh, they, can they can eat it while they're watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you watch on the telly? Uh, I'm into Scandal. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's... And then I got into Breaking Bad, but then I travel so much. Well, but you can watch it on your... Uh, can I say iPad? I forgot to say tablet. <laughs> you can watch it on your iPad. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go. Mel B, everybody, we right back. talented actor. His new movie, This Is Where I Leave You, is in theatres now. <laughs> Take a look at this. Ben Schwartz, everybody, Ben And look at your suit. Oh, thank you so much. It's really much. good. Yeah, yeah. Can I'm... you see the little dots, everybody? Those little dots. You see it? I'm trying to look like the sky, like the stars in the sky. You do look like this. You're like a drawing of the cosmos with great hair. Thank you so much. <laughs> My hair is like the Big Dipper of the sky. No, your hair looks great. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, really. Your hair looks good. Uh, well, as well, you know, it's it's kind of past its best. Do you feel a little bit winded from that? A little bit. Yeah. I how do are you? Too. Yeah. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah. Well, how, how old are you? 33. I just turned 33 last week. Right. I'm, I'm 30, 52. Okay, so yeah. I should be embarrassed. So you should be embarrassed, should be embarrassed and be embarrassed. like, whoa, hey. Yeah. Just say some stuff till I get my breath back, would you? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> what is the meaning I'm of kidding. Life? Everything is fine. Oh, good. Yeah, you look great. Thank though. you. You look fantastic. What about your, these? These are tights. Do you cool. like them? Cool. Yeah. yeah. They go all the way up. All the way up to here. They're man spanks. They turn into man spanks. <laughs> Have you ever worn the man spanks? Uh, no. Do they? How high do they go up? But I'll I've tell you never I've worn, worn them myself. But I, uh, but I, I, I hear tell they go all the way up to the nipple area. Oh. <laughs> Talk about the most unsexy thing you've ever heard. Well, I, I tell you, uh, the ladies sometimes wear spanks, and um, yes, 
I don't care for them. You don't like them? Yeah. They're supposed to keep everything in. They kind of well, secure everything. why are they everything. keeping it in? I like it better when it's out. Yeah, you like to see what's going on. You don't like any surprises. I don't, I don't want any shocks. Yeah. 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 At Christmas, you like your presents handed to you with nothing. They're not wrapped. That's wrapped. right. I, no, I don't mind some wrapping. I just want, don't want it wrapped so <laughs> tightly so they don't that they can't it is. move, you know. Yeah. What if somebody got me a kitten? Oh, yeah. and they put it in Spanx. Yeah, there you go. That would be a dead, that would be a dead. Don't kitten. even say the words! Sorry, Jeff. We Jeff, love so cats sorry. here. We love cats. How yeah, no, dare of you? Of course, of course, of course. I am so you. sorry. It's all right. It's all right. What would it what would happen if Jeff was really just a series of kittens in a jacket and then a robotic head? <laughs> how can we and found you out, man? He found you out. That's what he is. <laughs> I am blown away. You are blown? By I am blown away yeah. right. by the amount of enormous celebrities that call this place while you're Unbelievable. on the air. Yeah. It's Unbelievable. It's insane. Oh, wait, that's another one. The Why odds. don't you get it? Why don't you get it? Wait, Is that okay? Yes, try it. Oh, my God. Uh, hey, Have you ever seen the Three Stooges, man? Yeah. Come on. Hello? 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 Uh, hey, yeah, uh, hey, man, it's uh, Rob Schneider. <laughs> oh. What's, uh, what's the deal with the polio stuff, man? Oh, yeah, weird. yeah, yeah. Did you hear about the joke? This yeah, morning? yeah, it's weird. Okay, the, did you see the writer that wrote it? Yeah. His yeah. address is 543. Okay. <laughs> Don't give out Joe Strazilla's Not the whole, okay. No, 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 no. It's somewhere in Silver Lake. It's somewhere in Silver Lake. Yeah, yeah you'll find it. I'm yeah, wearing, yeah. I'm I, wearing, I, uh, I'm wearing yeah. man spanks right now. Oh, get out of here. Yeah. What color? Yeah, blue. Cool. Hey, man, you don't sound anything like I thought you would. Right. No, I know. You know what? That happens a lot. Oh, is that yeah. true? Yeah. It's you, isn't it, Miriam? I hung up already. Oh, okay. Doesn't add up. Doesn't add up. Doesn't add up. <laughs> I thought it was Miriam. It could have been. Yeah, Miriam. Uh, is it you, Miriam? I'm still here. Yeah, I knew it was you. Is I it always you? Miriam? It's always Miriam. <laughs> I told you not to call here, you <laughs> old bitch. <laughs> oh. Be careful. Wow. Wow. I have to say, unbelievable. Even though this looks like basic technology, it works without any wires. Yeah. With yep. no batteries. Yeah, this yeah. is an extraordinary. It's like a doctor. The camera Luke isn't as good as the one on the other ones. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah. On the tablets. Yeah. Movie looks good. Yeah, it's fun, right? I get to play a rabbi in a yeah, film. Yeah, you play a rabbi. Yeah, why not? Nice. You They're ever played play a rabbi? I've ever played a rabbi. Yeah. <laughs> this answer may surprise you. No! Come on! Really? No, no one's ever asked. Okay. Maybe, maybe that'll be when the show ends. Maybe that's the first job I'll get. <laughs> Who are we gonna get to play the rabbi? Ferguson! Ferguson. Yeah! <laughs> everything. You're first on the list for everything yeah. right now. <laughs> Expendables 10. Who are we gonna get? Ferguson! Yeah! Yeah, anything. Uh, I don't think so. I think so. Oh, I don't know. I'll cast you in everything. Really? Yeah, sure. What about House of Pies? How's that going? Oh, man, great show, House yeah. of Pies, if you guys ever uh, seen uh, it. Yeah, um, on the Showtime. It follows... Um, yeah. I'll start it off, and then you finish it, but it, it's, it follows... The idea is all of us are made of actual pieces of pie, so, like, I play a blueberry piece of right, pie. Right, you all have pie powers. Like, your blueberry power is... Uh, like, I could squirt blueberry on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then and, like, uh, Kristen plays uh, cherry pie, of course. Cherry pie, cherry of, pie course. of course. And, uh, and her secret power is uh, you. You can't touch this. Uh, <laughs> touch this. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, uh, Cheeto strawberry pie. Cheeto strawberry pie. Which because... of course that's the easy one everybody knows. Strawberry pie. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what, what is the strawberry pie thing? Strawberry pie. He plays golf. Is that related? He does play golf. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you play golf? I don't. I don't play golf. You don't. You or you golf. won't. Um, you know what? I think I would get frustr very, very frustrated with it. I don't know if I have the patience for golf. Well, uh, do you do anything else that requires patience? Oh, that's a good question. Well, do you? <laughs> Clearly, I do. Yeah. yeah so that's that was good. supposed to be yeah, patience. No, that's very clever. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, very yeah. Clever. I was trying to nail it out of the park. No, no. But very subtle. It wasn't a Joe joke. It was like a real subtle yeah, it joke. It wasn't a Strazulo. It wasn't a polio. polio it wasn't a classic no. Strazulo. You know what I mean? We're trying to you skim the legs. You don't do a Strazulo on your first day, <laughs> No. Buddy. Not on your you first day. You gotta take day. 10 years. 10 years. And find like an FDR disease that hasn't been run to death. Right. And then use it with a celebrity. Use it with a celebrity, and that's what people want. Yeah. That's what so. they want. They want a joke that involves celebrities and a horrible disease. I think that's it. <laughs> Ever had a horrible disease? Oh, I had, no. I, no, in the grand scheme of things, I have not. I don't know why you're laughing, that's terrible. Yeah. 
as if to say you wish I had a terrible disease. Or, or they thought you were maybe uh, making light of the terrible disease you had. Oh, okay, that's my fault, then I'm rude. Um, <laughs> I, once, I once didn't go to sleep for quite some time and uh, worked very hard and I got strep and pneumonia at the same exact time. Ooh, and that's it was not in, a, in this. Yeah, that's not a good one at all. It was for a month and a half. It was Ooh, the worst. Gee, that's, terrible. that's terrible. Was that recently? Uh, no, maybe two years ago. Oh, dear, that sounds awful. Yeah, how about you? What's the uh, worst one you got? Let's talk about worst diseases. Shingles. Really? Oh, man. Oh, that's chicken pox for adults. Yeah, that's right. It's like... it's like. That's like the cool way of selling yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. It's kind of like growing up chicken pox. <laughs> but I had chicken pox when I was a kid, and... It, so did it, I. And that was fine. Terrible. Uh, you know, I, but, but uh, shingles? I thought you can't get it again. If you have it as a kid, you can't get it again. Who, who the hell gives you this medical advice? <laughs> no, if you have... Really? You're working as a doctor now? Yeah. I have a cough. I have a weird cough. What should I do for it? <laughs> Eat wood. All no, the no, no, are... Oh, no? No, no. no. Uh, it's uh, do cocaine, right? Do cocaine. <laughs> oh. All of his answers are pretty much do cocaine. That's what... Uh, my nose is actually running. Uh, is there anything I can do for it? Yeah. That's not right. <laughs> That's the opposite of what would... That's, yeah, yeah. I know. find myself highly nervous and over-energized. What should I do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's just it's stupid. Is that how the horse wins all the races? Yes, well... Oh, my God. And that's no, it's how... not a real horse, man. It's, uh, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's just a, just a... Oh, if I could fall out of my seat, I would have done it. No. <laughs> not a real horse. No, don't, don't go I back know, there. That's, that's where we keep all the stuff. You guys can't see, but it's just a series of razor blades pointing up. <laughs> Just in case someone has the balls to right. fall off backwards. Yeah. We're out of time. No. Thanks. You want to uh, you want to say goodbye to anyone? Yeah. By the way, I mean, I'm a huge fan of um, what's a great one? Oh, Tom Hanks. Do you think I could talk to Tom Hanks? Maybe. Charity off the hook. Hello. Yeah, it's Tom Hanks. What? <laughs> what? Nope. Nope. Hello. Nope. Nope. Ah. Oh, oh, you sound like on a... cocaine, Tom nope. Hanks. Whoa. No, Tom Hanks on cocaine. You sound That's like a... right. Ah. <laughs> you sound like an animated bird in a Disney movie. You can't fly unless you're on cocaine. Ah. Tom Hanks. I said Tom we Hanks. Were right back. Right. 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 As Hagrid had said, what would come would come, and he would have to meet it when he did. That was wonderful. Yeah, it's a, that's a good one. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Now, I read that entire book during the commercial break. <laughs> and I only slowed down for the last paragraph. That's right. You're a speed reader, you I'm are. I'm a speed reader. <laughs> we want to apologize to Tom Hanks, Dustin Hoffman, and Rob Schneider? Rob Schneider. And, uh, anyone else? I think, I think that's... Oh, and also to, uh, CBS, our CBS. viewing audience. CBS. Um, to ourselves, to each other, I'm sorry, Craig, to you. And, uh, and anyone who thought that the cat's head blew up and its skull was on fire, that's not true. <laughs> it's just a, just a, j a joke. We're not advocating that at all. No. We love the cats. Is that tonight's show or tomorrow night's show? What night is this? <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's late, so it's now late. it's Friday. That's right. <laughs> or Saturday. <laughs> or if this is a rerun, Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah, sure. <laughs> a rerun. <laughs> <laughs> We're off the air in December.